When Diana was 15 years old, Althorpe, her family home, was about to be invaded. Rain had divorced Gerald Legg and married Diana's father, Johnny Spencer. It was a low-key affair at Westminster's Caxton Hall, and not even Diana and her siblings had been informed. In retrospect, the relatively secret marriage of Rain and Johnny was, was an appalling idea, and I think the children felt completely let down. How could their father not tell them? It was a great, great mistake, and that's really when the big trouble started. The Spencer children soon made their feelings clear. At her first family Christmas, under the tree, was a carefully wrapped book for Rain. It was the story of Marie Antoinette, the French queen who was swiftly beheaded, signed, and dated in Rain's honor. Well, the role of stepmother, you know, which is, of course, enshrined in our fairy tales as the wicked stepmother. You never have the nice stepmother. I mean, it's a very difficult job to get right, because I think as far as she was concerned, any territory she was on was her territory. As rain settled in, she set about making the 16th century Spencer home more to her liking. The house did need desperately uh, restoring because there was lots of damp, you know, wear and tear, basically. And she wanted to turn it from being a museum into a home. Althorpe was considered one of the country's finest country houses. It had been in the Spencer family for almost 500 years. It certainly is an English gem. There was wonderful mirrors, there was very good French furniture, there was very good English furniture, they had wonderful clocks, they had wonderful paintings. They, it was a, a complete house of wonderful treasures. <laughs> but she decided that it looked too dreary, so she wanted to refurbish everything. She put in double glazing. She'd go into the library and it would have been decorated for a visit of Marie Antoinette in 1772. And she would think, no, I'm better in pink and the whole room would be painted pink. She put carpet down, covering beautiful floors. She got rid of all the curtains and you couldn't stop her. It became a sort of compulsion. There would be an incredibly well thought out display of portraiture in the Great Hall, describing a particular generation of the Spencer families or whatever. And she would have no hesitation in placing an enormous picture of herself in the middle of it. 